Sometimes that goes against you, and it feels terrible. Uh, but I also choose to look at it that way, that we as a group, we come to a Champions League semi-final, and we make it to the tiniest of margins. With all the injuries we have, with all the challenges we have, we do that, and that is actually incredible. And I'm so proud of the players and the staff that they're able to do that. Tim. Uh, Jonas, I think sometimes like games are uh, a bit tactical and a bit emotional, and sometimes that spectrum swings. This whole tie, both legs, to me felt quite emotional, and particularly today you might correct me and tell me that you work a lot on lots of Wubba Wub Moy crossing the ball to Jen Beattie in the penalty area. Um, but did you know, did you speak about before the game, I guess, um, riding that emotion and using that emotion uh, to your advantage? We've been spoke, speaking about that the whole season, to get used to play for Emirates, to use our supporters' energy as, as something to, uh, to have as a force. Uh, I think the, the work that I've seen that our men's team and Mikel has been doing has been so inspiring in that with how they have been together with the supporters been able to, to really turn Emirates around uh, and, and I think we also learn from that and, and we see that uh, tonight as well. Then I still think there is a lot of tactical en elements into it. It's, it's important for us that like tactical work coming off, we're trying to tweak things during the game um, I think that we are it's a good tactical decision that we go and, and start chasing for the game already in minute 70 uh, and not waiting till the, the last five minutes of the game. So we start creating those opportunities and we can equalize the game. Like There is a lot of work that we have been doing before that we actually can, can, can get the benefits of tonight. Um, we have young players coming on. Uh, and they're playing in different positions. Um, it's, it's, I mean, it's a huge occasion, and they're doing so well. So uh, it, it's a um, real, real privilege to see them handle that so well. And uh, tactically, particularly in the first kind of 20 minutes, Arsenal got a lot of joy in transitions through the centre, and obviously Wolfsburg made a change in bringing uh, Alexandra Pop in, uh, and obviously they rotate so much in their midfield. But that space, particularly where Arsenal scored the first goal and created some opportunities, is that a space you spoke about exploiting? Uh, yeah, we, we did. We knew that that, that was the, the space in the transitions uh, to do that. It was, uh, I wasn't that happy with our defending organisation in the later parts on the first half. I think we, we collapsed too much, we were too passive, we, we needed to work much more active with our wide forwards and we did that in the second half and, and in overtime and I think we got a lot more a lot more control and, and we got much better space control after uh, after that. Uh, it was important that we managed the ball well as well. I mean Wolfsburg they pressed very intensely uh, but, uh, but we managed to do it uh, well a lot of times and of course, I might be biased, but when I see the game, just try to see it objectively. I think it's a very even game when I see for goal scoring opportunities. I think it's a very, very even game. Um, so you know, I, I think we did as good as we could. Tom. Hi, Jonas. Congratulations. I just wanted to ask you, firstly, how Lotto is. Uh, I think the general consensus was that she was one of the best performers on the whole pitch, and then, of course, the error was hers at the end quite cruelly. I mean, what, what sort of things have you been able to say to her, and just how is she? Uh, I, I, I told her to keep her head high. Uh, I, I told her there's no need to apologise. Uh, mistakes happen in football. We win as a team, we lose as a team. Uh, we're there for each other. Uh, it's, we, we learn. It's, it's inevitable sometimes that it happens. So they also do mistakes. Um, and we're close to profit from, from them. Uh, so it's part of the game, and, and you're right, she was absolutely fantastic. Uh, if you look at about it as a total performance, and she has been lately as well, so um, we're there for each, for each other, both when we get success, but also when we get failure. And please, can I ask you just when you reflect uh, and maybe look towards next season when you get back your captain, get back the England captain, and, and definitely you know, how much confidence does it give you that you can 
go on and win this competition when you have your full squad? I think first and foremost, we, we need to try and qualify for the uh, competition uh, next season. It's, it's a tough WSL. Uh, we are, uh, we're in a tough situation uh, on the remainder of the season, both to get our feet and heads back from here, uh, because like I said, we're hurting tonight. But already on Friday, we have a really important game against the Leicester that's really picked themselves up. Um, and. I think that the way that the team works, if, if that can be the standard for how teamwork is applied for us as a team, that's a really, really good foundation to get future success. But we, we need to put focus on the next game, on Leicester, and we need to get the focus on to finish this WSL season as, as strong as, as possible. Uh, and I know we have done some great things this season. We won the counter camp. We were really, we were so close for a Champions League final. But I think you guys know me well enough to see that I'm always thinking next game, and we—that's what we need to do. I need to push, and everyone needs to come together, and we need to finish as strong as possible here in the league. And that's going to be a tough challenge with with all the players that that we have away. And we really need to. Uh, to focus up and attack every game 100% like we did today.